Did I disappoint you or let you down? Should I be feeling guilty? Hello everyone, this is CJ Novo992 and today we are back for another brand new video. It's not going to be a fan rant today and after that first 45 minutes I genuinely thought it was going to be I was sitting rattling back and forth watching the game just unfold the way it did. Um, if you didn't know or if you missed the game at all, Motherwell raced a 2 no uh, leads and it was just a pathetic performance and when i actually say pathetic performance i mean a fucking gutless passionless empty ball sack of a first 45 minutes where nay cunt turned up for the badge that's what i mean do you know what i said against kamarnock yeah that do you know what i said when we went down to 10 men against celtic that just exactly the same Marty not adjusting properly. Motherwell not done their job. Let's let's take none away from Motherwell. Let's just be a wee bit fair before we rip into our boys. Motherwell, in that first 45 minutes, was strong. They battled for everything. Did they get a bullshit penalty? Yes. Did they only score with the two shots on target? Yes, that was both their goals. But what they did is they battled it. They made it hard for us. They absolutely embarrassed Morelos. Let's be honest, they two centre-backs had him on a fucking leash all night. Like, it, they were just playing him like a fiddle. It was ridiculous, like, leaning into him just so he gets wound up. They was booked within a couple of minutes. They all done their jobs. They were well scouted and well taught what to do. My whole thing with Rangers is, why do we start this slow? I just didn't understand it. We were looked awful in that first 45 minutes. In fact, the first 20 minutes, I'll challenge you guys that's going to be watching, guys or girls, um, that's watching, name our name a worst 20 minutes. It was awful. Like, it was just, we couldn't do none, we couldn't pass it, we were just out-bullied, they chased after everything doing it, like I said, they got a ridiculously bad penalty, like, sorry, to me, it wasn't a penalty, um, then they ended up scoring another pretty decent goal there as well, so they went to 2-0, and then at this point, I was like, right, let's see the response for Rangers, was there any response, I hear you asking, see you asking, no, there wasn't, just none, 45 minutes came and went, and it is just a fucking gutless performance the only time i can think of maybe in the first half is when jamie murphy cut in for the right hand side hit a shot and uh, the goalkeeper made a very very good save that's all i can think of the rest of the team holy shit before we talk about the 2-2 comeback i just want to talk about some of the players that i really want to point out that played a very very poor game alves i stuck up for you in the celtic game mate you were bad against kamarak you i thought you were dreadful today like really really bad and that, and we, I've seen some bad centre backs. We had Rob Kiernan here. I miss Rob Kiernan. Yeah, thanks, Alves. Never thought I'd be saying that. Moving on to our midfield, Graham Dorans, poor fucking guy, six months out injured, gets put in CDM. That's what you want to do with one of our best centre attacking mids is put him in CDM. Um, he played the full 90 minutes, I believe. I might be messing that one up. Sorry if I've messed up. But I'm sure he played way too long. Like, out at the end, he just looked completely out of it. What a fucking shame for the guy. There you are, mate. You're one of our best players, one of our best attacking players that can shoot, that can create. We'll play at CDM. Yeah, that's great. For the full 90 minutes when you're just back for six months fucking injured. Explain that to me right now if you're watching this video and you're still there. Why is Dorans being played in centre defensive mid? The other person I want to quickly talk on before we obviously move on to Morelos and Windass. That's that's kind of where we always go. I just want to talk about Fodingham. Now Fodingham I always back up and I talk and I think he's a very, very good goalkeeper. Like his potential, I think he's sky high. Again, very young for a goalkeeper. Is only going to get better in my personal eyes when he gets more of a presence in the box. But that's two shots that he faced two goals i know one of them was a penalty but i seen someone's comment it was against hibs um one of the other games that we lost where it was like another shot on target like if you look at his shot to goal ratio it's it's kind of nuts unless we play celtic then he turns out he's fucking superman but the rest of the league another two shots another two goals can see these so i want to see your opinions on that was does, is fods kind of a blame for any of these ones i know he's suspect to long shots and obviously with the goal and that as well. So, yeah, I've been interested in that one. Phoning him, how do you feel about him? Do you think he's still our solidified number one? Or is there starting to keep in the room maybe for Anik to be given another shot and goal? Me, personally, I'd stick with Fods. But again, the channel's for you guys. So let me know down below. Let's talk about uh, Windass first. Because it was, it was a poor one for Josh. And I absolutely love Josh. I think he should be in consideration for the SPFL Player of the Year. Stats didn't lie. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. I'm just getting out there. But this was one of these games that I can understand it frustrates people. Being like a Josh like lover, like <laughs> a Josh lover, uh, I win, win that lover when I watch him. I play and I think he's a fantastic football player. Just a ghost. He really ghosted that game. And he ended up picking a knock, I believe. It was at Kripke again. The man who fucking injured Ryan Jack landed on top of Windass. And he ended up getting substituted late in the second half. Probably 50 or 60 minutes too late. Again, Murray, thanks for that. Didn't he worry, we'll fucking get there. 
Moving on to the next player I want to talk about, and that's going to be Alfredo Morelos. Right, right before I give any opinions or read out Twitter polls or anything, what is your opinion on that 90 minutes of football from Alfredo Morelos? I'll give you a couple of things. I'm really interested in it. Didn't wait for other people to do it. Get involved. Get your opinion out there on Twitter. I posted it out, and I've never seen a 50-50 split this in my fucking life, so I really want to see what the comments are like. For the people that didn't have Twitter, let me know your opinion on Alfredo Morelos, because on Twitter, it's nasty. Some of it's nasty right enough, some of it's very, like, weirdly good. So it's like this kind of weird mix. There's no in-between. There's either, no, he's a workhorse, he's the best player on the part, or he's a greedy fucking moaning-faced cunt that you almost got yourself sent off, and it's just, it's just that. Thumbnail. My thoughts on him, did he work hard? Yes. Like, again, it's the same thing as always. Did he try, blah, 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 did he bustle on the defenders? Like I said, in the first half... He was, he, they, they played him, they honestly did. If you go back and look at that first half of football, they just knew what to do with him. They completely had them wrapped in his fucking finger. Second half, though, I think he smartened up a wee bit. I don't know if Marty or anything spoke to him at half time, maybe Jimmy Nickel, who knows. And he started to pick up his ideas, and he was influential in our second goal as well, where he picked the ball up, won it strong, passed over to Murphy. Murphy cut inside and hit it in after, obviously, the Tav penalty uh, made it 2 1. And then a couple of minutes later, on the 55 mark, Murphy scored from Morelos' hard working effort. So I get that. Would that goal have been created if Murphy and um, Morelos was in the park? Probably not. We don't know. But I didn't like the play style that we did when Morelos was there. It's kick a long ball, let Morelos wrestle for it in the corner flag. Kick a long ball, let's see if we give them a foul. Kick a long ball, do we get a foul? It's just so shit. We've not got any plan B with that, isn't it working? Look at the first 45 minutes. It shows that we look so fucking clueless. And yeah, the, the Cummins... Cummins reacted really badly. If you haven't seen it yet, I'm sure there'll be gifts somewhere. He was not happy at Morelos. He could have cut it back to him, but he shot for a stupid ang uh, 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 angle. I'm not wanting to hate on the guy too much, because again, I think he's got great potential, but I don't know. I just didn't care what to do anymore. And as me sort of done with the Morelos thing, I didn't want to hate on him too much. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of tweets. So before we move on to that, I want to just quickly name a couple of players that I thought played semi to good. I thought Murphy had a good game, genuinely. I know he scored. I thought Tav had a good second half. Um, I liked it when he scored that he really got everyone up. He was screaming at people. And I thought the second half performance was much better for Tav. And I also thought Kandias was the only one that was, looked like he was trying in the first half. If I'm being honest with you, the rest of them wasn't overly impressed. I'm going to give Dorns the, the, the sort of passes because he's had six months out. But fuck me, that was that was dreadful. Obviously, I'm going to go through each and every single player tomorrow. So if you want to see that, make sure to be checking up the live on the channel. I don't know who we're working with tomorrow, but we'll make sure to be getting involved and in, yeah... We'll speak about each and every single player. Don't worry. There's a big fucking list. That's We were three points. So we could have cut the fucking top of the league to three points last month. What have we done since? Loss, loss, draw. And now we're slipping down. We could fucking potentially be fourth. It's fucking mad. And that's me basically done. I'm not going to go anywhere for last. So we'll jump over to the Twitter poll in just a few minutes. If you're watching this video just now, I'd greatly appreciate any support. So if you're hitting the like buttons, we've been slacking lately. So don't wait for others. Transition. And we're back with the sponsor break. We're out the blue again like magic. 3 to 1, sponsor break! <laughs> Lip bars in the halftime dressing room. Eh? Would have won that game 5 2. And something I actually want to say, actually, that I kind of forgot there before we jump over the poll. Marty, I know we came back in that five minute spell, but my whole thing is, right, and I didn't want us to seem like overly negative, right? We came back, which was great if you want, but we were getting beat 2 0, two and a half Motherwell after playing flat and they changes the first half, whatever. Aye, that was shit. It didn't make any changes, and then we scored two quick goals, and everyone was like, What are you moaning at, DJ? We're back to 2 2. Did you notice what happened after that? We took our foot off the fucking gas. Why did we take the foot off the gas at 2-2? I don't know. Why did we have to wait till Windass gets injured before we bring on another striker and go for the win? We're Glasgow Rangers. We need to get back to fucking winning ways, Murray. Draws and hard work and effort isn't good enough. So yeah, I'm done with the Murray conversation. Let's jump over to the poll now. Um, do you ken Mullerville gave 15 fouls away and never got one person booked? What? We got nine fouls and we got two players booked. Go figure. Right, the first Twitter poll that comes in says uh, Cairo Kearney. Again, that's too close to Kieran Tierney for my liking. Change that. Um, well, it's Groundhog Day again. Yeah. Hempos uh, at the Thyroid Boy says first half mince, second half mince. Uh, Andrew Wilson says terrible first half performance that shouldn't have been a penalty for Mullerwell. Uh, yeah, I agree. And the rest should have been given us a free kick before they got their second. I agree as well. The referee was shite. But I'm sick of mentioning referees because that's the easy way out. Oh, CJ blames ref. So that's why I didn't bother him. I just, there's no point anymore. A better second half performance, though. I don't think we should have had a penalty either. Uh, but Morelos and Cadiz were poor. 
Well, that's interest, interesting one. I thought, I thought it was a Kenny penalty. I suppose it's Kenny six and a half away of a dozen. If we, if they didn't get that bullshit one in the first half, would we have got Tabs one? Like he was tripped. Mm, it's good. It's a good question and fair question actually. So yeah, let me know about that one if you're watching this video just now as well. If you even watch the vents. Ross Cameron says Murray should drop back to the head of youth development or coach and more tactical experience manager. Bring in MOH back into the ring wing and he cuts in more and gives us an edge. McCrory is a defensive mid, no Dorrance, the attacking mid. For fuck's sake, follow, follow. Uh, Ibrox lo Loyal chips in with nailing the coffin for Murray's hopes for becoming Rangers manager for the foreseeable future. Barring a Scottish Cup win, I see no viable way that he can continue. His inability to make impactful changes to a game shines through and through with each match. Fucking tremendous tweet there for Ibrox Loyal at IL underscore official. Jay Fletcher, a.k.a. my nemesis. No, I'm joking, Jay. Uh, every week we watch the same naive tactical and neck shit, then it's all right because he's nice, Murray. He, he's put that. Bollocks, he's right, man. Bollocks, he's Rangers manager. needs to be upheld to those hands standards. Worse than Pedro and worse than Warburton. Fuck me, Jay, man. That's fire. Spitting pure fire. Ben at Ben, RFC 1872. Absolute shite. First half shite, but second half much better. Murray, however, needs to t uh, needs to make tactical changes and have tactical awareness w when needed, like a Rogers, like a Clark, or like a Neil Lennon. <coughs> no saying it. Jordan Smith says awful first half, and then I suppose I'll take a point because then we were two 0 down and Murphy and Dockery played well. Dockery, mm -mm. like yeah, but did he do anything overly special? Not to me. Like I don't, I just don't think fives and sixes should be good enough for Rangers Football Club. I'm sorry if that's been overly negative. I can we love the boys. I love Docker as well, but fives and six unacceptable. Fucking Mister Sasa Pathpatch was Mister Consistent, and he was an eight to ten. Even on his worst days, we need to get back to boys playing like that. We can't accept. Oh, they were all right. No, I, that's just my fault anyway. Maybe I'm a fucking idiot. Kevin Wakeham said the scoreline speaks for itself, especially from the first half. Too pissed off to slaughter anyone. Right. Now, in this part of the video, I'm actually going to cut away and I'm going to speak about Morelos because I did fire up a tweet because I'm very interested because this whole divide and everyone, like, like it's crazy on Twitter. You can talk about them, you can't talk about them in certain places or you get screwed up. I just want to give people a, 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 a place to be able to talk about players and not be ridiculed or say, you did kind of about football. Like the fucking wank stains. So yeah, we're not going to be doing that. What we're going to be doing is actually giving you a place to give your opinion. So let's see what people's got to say about Alfredo Morelos' performance. And imagine Snags has avoided it. Ross Watson says, worked hard, did well for others, didn't score. Andrew Wilson says, Morelos uh, today was trying to get into their faces and get a goal, uh, but was greedy today when he shouldn't have been. Still have no idea where he was booked. He was booked because he fell over, he wasn't fouled, and then he ran up and screamed in the referee's face. Um, yeah, he needs to stop that shite. Scott Young says, he put himself about and got in their faces, but was far too greedy. When he should have cut back to Cummins, he shot and cost us two points. Andy MCW, good player, but too greedy. Chris Wright says, shite, far too greedy. D Generation X, <laughs> I like how he holds the ball up. He does it so well, but his decision making is terrible. If it's instinctive, then it's in the net, but uh, if he has time, he's awful. We would be better playing a 4 4 2 with a strike partner with Murray, uh, but we'll never get that. Uh, in short, I like the boy. Stuart Ward just says, terrible. Uh, Robbie McFern says, decent. David Nimmo says, greedy, moaning faced cunt. <laughs> well, is the monetization gone? Thanks, thanks, Davey. Ian Graham says, greedy. RFC Review says, we only needed come today, not anymore. Ouch. McCauley says, better than Cummins versus Kilmarnock. Yeah, fair play, but did we create anything in the Kilmarnock game? No. Um, let's see. Uh, Kevin Wakesham says, I'm going to keep it short and sweet. More come is officially no more. Morelos, greediness is already ruining this combo. Chris McLaughlin, I think that says, at uh, Chris McLaughlin. Sorry, mate, if I fucked that one up. He's raw, but in my opinion, he's a strike partner alongside him. He did, he just didn't pass to him. <laughs> Sadness. So that's actually going to bring to the end of the video now. Hopefully I read out enough of your opinions and I gave my opinion as well. That's what the comment section is for. Get involved and get a part of the Novo Nation. And get involved in the community that we are trying to build. And we continue to build, actually. Over 13,100 strong. Let's continue that, boys. I've been CJ Novo 92. That's been Rocky Boy Johnson. That has been Andy. Bye for watching and bye-bye.